So now we'll start working on task 2 which is to convert the binary strings given to decimal numbers. So we have here three binary strings given and one with the radix point and we'll learn how to convert them to the decimal numbers. So let's we'll start working on them. Converting binary to decimal now and our first number is our binary string is one one zero one one. So first thing that we need to know here is the place value of these numbers or strings. So the place value we start from here at the end on the left hand side we start with zero and then we have one two three and four so this is the place value of the string and we, when we start working we'll use the place value so now we can say that we'll take the number on uh, the digit one here and multiply it to two to the power the place value of the digit one here so that's 4 plus we have the next digit is 1 times 2 to the power to the place value of that which is 3 plus 0 times 2 to the power 2 plus 1 times 2 to the power of its place value again which is 1 plus again we have a 1 times 2 to the power 0 so now if we try to calculate them we have 1 times anything is the same thing so 2 to the power 4 is 16 plus 2 to the power 3 is 8 plus 0 times anything is a 0 so we don't need to do this one here because it's ultimately a 0 so we just leave that one and then we have 2 to the power 1 is 2 and 2 to the power 0 is 1 so when you add all of this you get 27 here and now going to the next number we have here 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 and now again writing down the place values of them we have here starting from 0 one two three four five and six so those are the place values for the digits that we have this time now we start our calculation so we'll start with the first one here so one times two to the power the place value of the one is six plus one times 2 to the power 5 the place value of that one plus we have 0 times 2 to the power 4 plus we have again 0 times 2 to the power 3 now plus 1 times 2 to the power 2 plus 1 times 2 to the power 1 plus 0 times 2 to the power 0 so now 2 to the power 6 is 64 plus 2 to the power 5 is 32 plus 0 times something is 0 we don't need to add that again 0 times something is 0 we don't need to add that then we have 2 to the power 2 is 4 plus 2 to the power 1 is 2 plus we don't need to write for that one because it's a zero so what we can do from next time is we can avoid multiplying with the zeros anymore so here now this will be equal to one or two okay now going to the next number we have here one one sorry one zero zero 
one zero zero the radix point one zero one and then let's write the place values of them so we know that here it's zero one two three four and five so that's for a normal number without a decimal the numbers or the digits before the decimal so after the decimal or after the radix point the digits will have the place value starting from minus one minus two and minus three and so on that side so it's like your scale so you have a zero one time not twice so it's as as it is like a scale and then now if we start working on this we have here the first digit is 1 times 2 to the power 5 its place value and then we have two zeros I'll skip those we don't need to write that we will only work on the ones this time so plus 1 times 2 to the power the place value of the 1 is 2 here now plus we skip the zeros again we go to the next one and here the 2 to the power will be minus 1 plus skipping the zero again 1 times 2 to the power minus 3 its place value so then we have 2 to the power 5 is 32 plus 2 to the power 2 is 4 plus 2 to the power minus 1 is 0 0.5 plus we have 2 to the power minus 3 which is 0 0.125 so when you add this all you get the value 36.625